Hey everyone, this is Wei, and for this video, I'm gonna be doing a, a shading on uh, on cloth. Now, first of all, if you're gonna do any kind of uh, cloth drawings, um, I highly recommend you getting this, the uh, Dynamic Wrinkles and Drapery by Hogarth, and this is pretty much the bible for cloth. Um, with this book, you know, you you get a really good understanding of just how cloth works and uh, the the dynamics of cloth. Um, and this is really useful if you're gonna draw cloth without any kind of reference and this will give you a really good understanding. Now for shading cloth, um, there's, it's pretty much like you know shading anything else but there's certain things about it that will you know help bring your cloth uh, to life and I'll be talking about that uh, as I'm drawing so let's get started. Alright so I'm gonna sketch this real quick just some basic lines now, one of the things uh, with cloth is that you just need to visualize it, right? What What is it doing? So this is the major shape right here, right? This little... So I'm going to sketch that one first. So it's going to come straight up, and then it's going to turn in. So this is this bulge here, right? It's going to turn in this way. And then there's going to be one crease here. And then this one, this this line here is going to loop. So there's like a little loop in there. Okay. And then this, this the other form here. And then this line here. And then this flows down. Okay. And then here. So this comes out here. And it's going to come straight down like that. Now roughly, because uh, the camera angle is a little bit different from what I'm seeing. So, okay. So from this... Um, the way to shade it is to carefully observe, you know, what a what a sh shadow and and highlights are. So I'm gonna start with the shadow area, like little creases in there, right? This is really dark, so I'm just gonna start shading it dark. Okay, this is dark here. I'm gonna do just some of the dark areas first. Now it's darkest inside, right? And then it kind of fades out right there. It just kind of fades out a little bit. So here, there's another crease inside. In here, see how dark this is? So I'm gonna make that line. Okay. Now for this area here, um, you gotta envision like, you know, the way to envision cloth is is what happens if you have a line going through this thing. Like how will it travel? <clears throat> and you need to be able to see that kind of curvature, right? Um, so the the more you see it, the the more you understand how this uh, light and shadow works. You can see like this area right here. This is light, and then you have the the, the darker areas here. And the important thing that sells this uh, curvature is the reflective light right there. You know the the fact that this is white. To, you know shows it that is round. So when I'm sketching, when I'm shading that. I mean, I'm, I'm going to exaggerate. I'm going to leave that bottom portion of there light. Okay. Now, obviously, it's, it's exaggerated, but I'm just trying to show you the, how important that reflective light is. So this area, whole area is going to be a little bit darker, right? This is going to be darkest, darkest. Then here, dark. And this whole area is like a little cave in there, so it's dark and it kind of lines up as you go. Here, sinks in a little bit. It's dark again. Okay, so, and then here, let's see, see this is dark. And then there's a rim right here, right? It's a little bit lighter right here. Okay. okay. So you can see by having the uh, ref reflective light on the on that edge right there, how that really sells the shape. So when you're doing cloth, that's really important because the, the shape of the cloth is so complex. If you don't have that, then it's just gonna look flat. Okay. My hand's a little bit weird because I'm trying to reach around the camera. So just bear with me. So. Okay, here, it's kind of dark, and you see how here, right, this is a lighter area, so you just kind of, you can define that shape a little bit if you like, 
uh, you can do like a light sketch line over it, you know, just to show it, so you know where to shade. Uh, so this is dark right here, right? Dark. And this is light on that edge. Again, it's that reflective light again. I'm going to exaggerate it. So I'm going to shade up here. Okay, so th this edge right here is a little bit harder, so that's why it's a little bit darker. <clears throat> it's like a really small cylinder, right? If you think about it lighting-wise. Here. So you see having that right there, that little bit of reflective light, how that cells is shaped to be a hump. And that's important. Dark. And then here, um, you can see how this, there's a shadow there. Now it's that shape obviously because you know the line is actually like going like this, like that, right? So that's why this corner here is darker and it's kind of so you can continue that as like a little little valley and it just kind of come flan out, flans out. And then again you see there's reflective light on this edge. And that helps to, to sell the shape that this is, you know, like a, like a round shape, right? Kind of going over, going over the edge. So when you're shading it, you know, you got to leave a little bit of that highlight still there. And it's best if you can just leave the paper white as opposed to erasing later, I guess. Okay, so I'm just going to shade this up real quick. So, you see how that little, you know, that reflective light and just a little bit of valley, you know, shading it there, and that, that helps you get all this uh, intricate shape of it, you know, going in and out. And that's what, you know, that's how you uh, shade cloth. It's just a lot of observation. You, know, you just got to make the correct observation. And it's better to exaggerate the reflective light than to uh, go too subtle. Um, just so that it will help you to uh, to, s to sell the the curvature a little bit better. So here is like a little bit darker because it pinches. So a little area like that really helps. I mean, and as you're doing it, that's um, you know it's just like sketching in general. You go light and, and then you go darker and darker. And as you're shading, you're gonna you're gonna start seeing. Uh, more and more uh, just you know different variations that you might not see at the beginning that's why if you go light um, as you're doing it you're gonna see more and more stuff and that way you won't make you know too many mistakes there's nothing wrong with going slow darker here light A little bit harder edge right here. This comes in. See, there's a little bit of reflective light on this one too because this is a ridge itself. So it's getting there. I mean, if you excuse my weird awkward joint position, but okay. So that will be an example on how to shade um, cloth. All right, so to recap on uh, how to shade cloth, uh, first thing you need to do is be able to visualize the, you know, how the, how the cloth is folding in and out. So just try to imagine, you know, as if there's a line here, how it's gonna go, you know, how it's gonna come up and it's gonna come back down. So you can kind of uh, visualize that in your drawing too, as you're, as you're doing it. You know, try to understand where, you know, where, how this thing is folding in and out. Um, and the second thing is really important, you know, because there's a lot of looping, um, there's a lot of reflective light. It's kind of like a cylinder, right? If you have a, uh, you know how they shade a cylinder, you know, you have your terminator. Um, and then there's, all, there's always some reflective light there, you know, it's your light source right here. And then you got the shadow because the light's reflecting back. So it's the same way here, you know, um, these are just basically little cylinders. So that's why you, you really need the reflective light. And the third thing is, is, is 
it's really important to have contrast because that helps pop certain things up. You see how if I make this a little bit darker, this area right here, if I do that, this edge comes right out, right? Because the white always pops um, pops out from the dark, from the black. So if I if I accentuate this, <clears throat> this edge kind of pops out a little bit more, right? So it's those little contrasts that that will really help you, uh, you know, help your drawing sell the shape that there's all these things going on, you know, in and out, in and out. So there's a lot of observation. It's just like drawing anything else. It's, but there's certain things that about cloth that you just need to keep in mind. So give this a shot and uh, see how it goes and I'll see you next time.